So um, I just watched uh, Jenna Marble's video this morning about um, things she doesn't understand about girls, the slut edition. And I have to say that, you know, I, I get why people are all like up in arms about the whole slut shaming thing. The um, If you have casual sex as a woman, then, you know, you should be ashamed of yourself. And if you get raped, it's your fault, victim blaming, all those things. And I have to say that I don't think that's what she was talking about. I don't, I don't think that she was trying to do victim blaming. I mean, she was talking about, you know, helping these girls that are super drunk and who are not in a very logical frame of mind to, um, you know, they may not recognize that this guy is being aggressive with them. And, that's not because they're asking for it or because, you know, deep down they want to be hurt by somebody. That's not what it is. It's, you know, they're drunk. <laughs> they're drunk and they can't make a rational decision. And she's just saying, you know, we should stick together. We should help other girls. And yeah, I admit at the same time, I mean, it's a little, a little contrary because she's, you know, using the word slut and slut is used way too much about women. But what she's talking about are things that women do to themselves. I mean, they, they do risky behaviors and, you know, they go home with men that they don't know. And, you know, I mean, it, 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 when you do that, you don't know the person. And I know that there are abusive relationships too, where, you know, you feel like you can trust someone and then you realize you can't, but you're upping the percentage, the likeliness that someone is going to hurt you if you absolutely do not know them. And so, I mean, that's what she's talking about. She's talking about girls making decisions that will hurt them oftentimes. And I know that, you know, people have had positive experiences with casual sex. I mean, it is possible to have a positive casual sex experience. It is. But at the same time, I mean, if we go just on like the pleasure aspect of it, most women can't have an orgasm or they struggle to have an orgasm during intercourse. So if we're just talking about like, you know, casual sex, you don't know this person, you're attracted to them and, you know, you might have some pleasurable experience with them, but you know, from talking to girls, you know, who've had, you know, they talk about their casual sex experiences and, you know, from my own, and um, I mean, I haven't had that many, but I mean, <laughs> from my small experience with that, you know, I wasn't like having a rollicking great time. I mean, it's, and that's because, you know, I was being intimate with somebody who doesn't care about me. And these girls, you know, they talked to me about their experiences and how, you know, it was kind of fun, but they didn't really have an orgasm. They didn't really, it, you know, it wasn't that great. It was over really quick, you know, all these different things. I mean, if you're going on the sex for sex sake, you know, sex for pleasure sake argument, I mean, what could be less pleasurable than having a very shallow experience with someone and they honestly don't care about how you feel. They, they don't care if you're feeling pleasure. They don't care if, um, what they're doing to you is making you uncomfortable. They, they don't care because they don't know you. And, you know, you are just another, another notch on their bedpost. And, you know, they could be yours too, but it's a lot easier for men to use women for sex because of the way that they're built, their anatomy. Men are designed to have an orgasm when they have intercourse almost every time. And for women, it anatomically, it's a lot more difficult. So having these brief, you know, sexual encounters is oftentimes not even great just in the casual sense. I mean, there are so many reasons not to have casual sex and I'm not saying don't ever do it, you know, I mean, freedom of choice, but you know, freedom to express yourself sexually, however you want. But just from my own experience and from almost every girl I've talked to about their experiences, it's usually not the best experience. Usually it's mediocre or in some cases it's hurtful. And in rare cases, an assault happens. So I don't know. I just don't think that people should be bashing her because she's not, you know, 
victim blaming. That's not what it was about. It was about being safe and being safe emotionally and physically in your sex life. And also about the fact that, you know, oftentimes women in monogamous relationships experience more sexual pleasure than those who are having multiple random partners. That's not a judgment. That's just facts. So, you know, I think people need to ease up a little and I'm going to get off my, you know, whatever about this, but, and yes, I realize I look like shit, but I don't really care. I just worked out and I got all these responses, these negative responses to what I said about supporting Jenna's views. And I just wanted to kind of make it really clear where I stand because I think that there's not enough understanding about women's sexuality. Um, I think that we're a better society than some others. And when I mean better, I mean, we have maybe a, a wider understanding of female sexuality than quite a few societies in the world. But I think that the fact that we're still talking about this so much and people are getting so angry, I think that anger is reflecting the fact that, you know, there is this big inequality about women's sexuality in terms of the relationships with men. And I'm just, of course, talking just about heterosexual relationships and interactions. But I think that we have a lot more power than we think. And, you know, in the case of rape, I mean, you, you can't blame yourself, you know, if you are raped. You can't blame yourself even if you are flirting, whatever, even if you went home with someone don't blame yourself, but at the same time, there are some things you can do to make sure that you're being as safe as possible. And being as safe as possible, it, one step could be not going home with a stranger. So, so yeah, that's just what I think. But, you know, do whatever you want. Just be safe. <laughs>